Hello, so today in this video I'll be installing the Teapot, which is the all-in-one multi-platform honeypot, pla honeypot platform. And uh, so where, where you want to go ahead and download it is in their releases. Oh, you can just go here, releases. And then download any of these isos well the one i'm going to install is the amd64 one but anyway it's only 42 megabytes which is interesting so there's honey uh, teapot and this also includes the uh doc the way they install it is using docker with uh like for example the honey pots they include is also compa or adb honey siska cosa I think Citrix Honeypot and, and Compa again, DDoS Pa. I already have my VMware fired up, but uh, here is where you want to go and I can install it. So I have to go file, new virtual machine. This is Workstation Pro, by the way. Uh, you can do custom, go to next, go to next, and then you're gonna have to search for your um iso image so you go to browse and here's my teapot selected already go to next select linux and we're gonna need to go to debian and it doesn't matter it's actually debian 11 but that part doesn't matter. We're just gonna do location. Doesn't matter. Oh, um, you're gonna want to install it somewhere on your file system. So usually I install mine, for example, with these files. Like Teapot is already here. But um, yeah, it's. I just select VMware. Teapot two is there, and go next. And for number of processors, you're going to want, I, I guess I haven't tested it out exactly, but two is probably better. And then for RAM, it's recommended to have eight. So we can do eight, 8,192 megabytes. Go next. Select NAT. Next. 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 And then we can do create new virtual machine the virtual image so go next and then here we're gonna it says in the instructions to do 32 and then make sure to do store virtual disk as a single file if you do the other one uh, this will split it into um uh, like different numbers for the disk so it's probably best to do it as store as the, uh, disk as a single file go next go next and if you wanted to go and customize your hardware you can but uh, right now i don't need to do anything else uh, you can you're gonna need to press finish but i'm not gonna do it again so i'll just press cancel here but um since i already have teapot here running uh, here's a, my virtual machine setup and i guess we can continue so we could just go and press play button on the top let vmr run click ok so we'll just say And I'll probably speed up these processes as time goes on. So in HTTP proxy, I, I'll just leave it blank here. All right, so we're rebooting now, and I guess I'll just let it run, uh, boot. 
Still running an update from Debian packages. Still running the installer for Teapot. Okay, so we got into an interactive shell now, and it looks like we can select a couple of different additions to it, so... I, I'm thinking of going standard for now, and then maybe later on I can try, I don't know, these other ones. But it will have to be on a different VM. I'm not exactly sure how it's done but yeah i'll try standard so enter your password or whatever you want i guess okay so now we're installing Okay, so that about does it for this installation video. If you liked it, please consider sharing, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.